Okay, everyone, we're back. Um, I've got all the shaping done on the front, like I was showing you on the other machine. Rain set in here in Florida, so I had to move the machines in. But, as you'll notice, what I basically did was take this to a bullet tape. And I keep looking at the front as I go to make sure I have something even coming towards the tip. Now, that being said, epoxy time. The time I hate the most when I'm dealing with knives. <coughs> okay. Gloves. Very important. Not that they'll really <laughs> matter in the end, because you will get it all over you if you're like me. Heck. Regardless of what I do, I get more paint on me than I do on a wall. All right, epoxies. I prefer to use DEVCON. Now, there's, there's a lot of other pieces out there that you can use, but DEVCON is one of my favorites. So what I'm just gonna do simply is pour some clear resin And then I'm going to use some hardener, also 50-50 mix. All right, this is two-ton epoxy. Being that it's two-ton epoxy, it's obviously pretty strong. Ice cream handle. And mix and mix and mix. Now you don't want to mix it too long, but you don't want to mix it too short. What you want to make sure is that you're not getting as many bubbles. Just keep going. And it'll get like a milky consistency. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, smear it on one of the scales All right. now let's do the other scale so we have our tops and bottoms now I can already feel it getting thicker you have to move quick during this process Now what I also do is right up to the plunge line where the tape is, I put it on both sides of the blade. Now it's down there in that grind that I did earlier. pins. Now this is the part that gets a little tricky. Take your pin and set them. Now get the top part. These are a pin. This is the hardest part of the entire thing. To get them set. All right, now I'm going to go over to my brass hammer. And set these in. Now, if you remember what I did earlier was when I set when I when I did the pins I put grooves in them now all that 
epoxy is going up through these holes originally and getting gripped into where the pin grooves were and the scarification of the pins. All right, that looks pretty good. I like what I'm seeing. All right, now if you notice. That has a number seven on it. That has a number seven on it. That has a number seven on it. The reason I do this is so that when I am done, there is a nine, a ten, and an eight. And then the old notes over here, there's a nine, there's a ten, and an eight over there in the other vise. I do that so that you know the epoxy that went to each set of scales. Now what I'll do, come over here, using wax paper, trust me, this works like a charm. I will take the knife blade, face down, cover it in the duct tape, and set it. Now once that's in there, I will grab my clamps. But before I do clamps, I do this. Again, painter's tape on the outside of the wood. Not that I care that the wood might get marred on the outside. It's just so I can get my clamps back off. And you'll notice, even painter's tape does not like to stick to a boxy. So we'll set that as so. Then I will set one clamp at the top. My bed. Clamp, hit the pin. And I will now do the other side. At the lower end of the of the knife, going towards the blade. Alright. With that done. I'm not going to let these sit overnight. Now, some people will go ahead and turn around and uh, run with these in a couple hours. Not me. I want my stuff set. I want to set perfect. I want a minimal of 20 hours for these to be set before I get into doing any other work. Because I'm going to be creating a lot more heat now when I get into the other parts of what I'm going to be doing, whether it be the sanding and, and the final grinding of the pins in order to make them smooth. The rest of the work is all sanding, heat, and, and so forth, and you don't want to loosen epoxies. So, let them sit. And if you can't do that, well, you can run with them quicker just not my personal opinion. Anyway, I'll see you on the next upload, and you guys have a blessed day. Hey guys, I forgot one thing, and it's a major step, and you have to do it. Prior to doing your epoxy work, you want to use rubbing alcohol. Now, I did it on all the knives prior to, but I'm so in tuned with doing things, I forgot to mention this. Here's what you're going to do. Number one, you know you have a knife. You already scarred it on both sides. You did your pins like we showed you earlier. Now you'll see why these grooves in the middle make a difference. Because when it's through the wood scales on the outside, 
those heavy grooves are also inside the diameter holes in here. And then what you're going to do is prior to doing any epoxy, very simple, rubbing alcohol, workshop cloth, rub it around, put it up. Also, with the tang of the blade, you want to make sure it's oil free and grease free. Okay? Not that difficult. I use a Q tip and I go between these holes here, these 3 16 holes, and then just lay it up on a 2x4 and let it dry. After that, now your epoxy part can begin. Alright, I'll see you later. Yeah, we go on. Peace out.